So today we're going to talk about um, agile enterprise architecture management, which can mean different things to different folks. But I'll tell you the truth, it's been a, an area of um, interest for me for many years, uh, along with how to produce value-based outcomes from an enterprise architecture practice. So I'd like to share some of those best practices, and we're even going to follow it up with some demonstration uh, to show how, within the Biz Design platform, uh, some of these uh, best practices can actually put into practice, uh, you know, in, in a repository-based solution uh, to help go alongside of the process side of it. So some technology to support the process. So what I'd like to do is to kind of get started. Um, I came across this the other day, and it made me think uh, about a few funny things in my past. I, I remember when I first started in the enterprise architecture space, I worked in a team. I was an enterprise architect at the time, uh, a pretty large firm, and uh, we had a six-month email thread around what the definition of a capability is. So you can definitely you know, look at a balancing act between effectiveness and efficiency. Um, and I think those things are more, instead of versus one another, it's really more you'd like to have both of those things, but they do compete in some cases. As an example, you could spend a lot of time uh, trying to be effective and drive value, uh, but if we're not responding to the business quickly, uh, that can then uh, create a problem, not only in time to value, but also just perception, right? Um, if, you know, if we're working on too much efficiency, let's be really fast, uh, maybe we're not driving value. So there is a, there's a combined thing there about being able to do that. So it's really about, you know, looking at that balance and going forward with it. And the way I like to think about it is to start with more of that. First, let's talk about effect and how can we drive value uh, that's tangible back to uh, who uh, building an EA practice, who are your customers? Who is the organization that you're going to be working with? And how can you describe the, the target outcomes in the best way? Well, I like to think in terms of what the business thinks about. How does a strategy get accelerated? If you're working at any industry within any organization, they're going to have plans for the next year to two and what they're planning to do. How are they going to improve customer experience? How are they going to you know, look at this uh, ability to accelerate digital business and improve the ability to innovate, create new things that are aligned to what that particular organization is in the business to do, right? So having an ability to understand that is a, is a pretty important part of that. Now, some of the things that really are not so specific, let's say to the industry you're in, but are pretty common would also include things like, how do you optimize? How do you optimize process that might be very specific to your industry or, or maybe more of a uh, cross uh, functional thing like HR and different things that every company focus on, focuses on. But also, you know, when we look at process, we also look at products and services. And that's a very important aspect as well, is how do we optimize for, alongside of what that business is trying to do? And then when we get into the IT estate, right, how are we looking at that estate? as it relates up through to product, service, and process. So optimizing is important. And of course, another one that hits every organization these days is risk in different for fashions, right? You can look at regulatory compliance, depending on what uh, area you're in, or you can also look at um, uh, looking at increased uh, uh, resilience or even risk awareness, uh, both on the security side, but also when you start to think about uh, technology, right? Um, life cycle. Uh, we have technologies that are aged. You know, that's always a, a, a very traditional thing that we try to do in more of a technology reference model side of things and then manage those life cycles. So start with what, you know, the business is trying to accomplish from an effective pers perspective. And those really roll up to very, you know, high level stakeholder conversations around cost savings, uh, increasing revenue and cost avoidance. So then the other thing is, how do we become then efficient? And I guess this is an important point because there have been times, many times, even my own career, where EA has been looked at as an academic exercise or as not driving value, or maybe even worse yet, it slows down what we're trying to do. And honestly, the reverse can be true. You can actually speed things up if you really start to think about how you could be more agile, right? Design the practice to respond to the business quickly. How does one do that? build reusable and, and resilience into the practice. Now, those are big words, you know, I'm going to, or, or common words, I guess you could say, but I'm going to show you some of this stuff too, and how you might want to think about that. And there is a, 
a slowdown and then a speed up. The slowdown is designing that practice, that EA practice. Might take you a little while to do that. Hopefully not six months to, to define the definition of a capability, but you, know, you go through and you design what your uh, capabilities are. We'll get into that in just a moment. And then how do you then use those in a very uh, agile way to respond quickly to what the business is looking at? And this last part is kind of, uh, I think, a very important part. And that is, you know, the old, the old saying, you know, the shoemaker and uh, they, but if you ever look at their shoes, right, they're not that great. We look at eating the dog food, right? It's, it's really about that. But when we start to talk about agile and some of the concepts around agile, about defining value streams and attaching, uh, you know, those capabilities uh, that define those value streams, and then looking at teams and teams of teams that are organized with the ability to, uh, to, to support sprint-based, you know, approaches uh, to managing work, not large projects that take a long time, but we invest in the value streams. So defining your value streams from an EA practice, well, we tell our business, we tell the business to do that from an EA perspective if we're, if we're really focusing in on Agile. Uh, but what about ourselves? Do we design our own practice in that same manner? So um, a little commercial break. I just do this up for fun, but um, this bites, we recommend eating a one's own dog food. So, uh, I, you know, I'm definitely going to be showing you, uh, you know, uh, some of this stuff played out in the Biz Design Horizon platform, uh, but being able to design that EA practice and, and from an EAM the agile perspective is something that we can practice. And it does, it does go to the, or there is a need to apply technology to the problem. It isn't just about that, though. It isn't just about the fact that we have a platform or any other vendor has a platform. It's also about process and best practice. But, you know, having that platform is important.